and King Luke grinning ear to ear with a big smile on his face, greeting the entire room. Kim thought it was a great idea to roast us in an environment full of conservative Cubans and Filipinos. I know that I was, you know, Sandy and, and Mike Hudson's favorite tenant. <laughs> when I lived in, in, in the house, back on GP Deal Road. Kim, my thanks, baby. I love you. Um, love, compassion, patience, tolerance. These are words that I chant to myself before work, school, or any endeavor that I find difficult or anxiety provoking. As I chant these words, I think of you. And I realize that you naturally embody these attributes without even trying. You know when you said hi to me? You looked me up and down while saying, I like your shoes. I did like her shoes, by the way. She didn't know that we had the same pair of shoes. These shoes. I've kept these shoes because I knew I needed for today. After that, I think of Pete, who's also at Table 8. But he was kind of like a younger brother to us, and I didn't want to throw him into that lion's den. We had to protect Pete. Next man up, Luke Hudson. Ceremony is not magic. It will not create a relationship that does not already exist. It has not already been celebrated in all the commitments we and Kim have made to each other, both large and small. The ceremony is a symbol of how far they come, came together, and a symbol of the promises that they will continue to make to, with each other throughout the lives lived together. I promise to show you every day that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. Thank you for your commitment to me and our love, and I look forward to the future with you, continuing to live out these promises. I love you. I love you too. Really, they worked together. He was into it, and she encouraged him. And of course, uh, it made all the difference in the world. So he goes to graduate school once again, making A's. All right, let's give it up for the couple of the evening for the first time ever presenting the newly married Mr. and Mrs. Hudson. The second thing that this tells me, and Kim, this is for you. Make sure you give them clear directions. <laughs> but I think you two are perfect for each other, and I wish you a lifetime of happiness and success. Cheers. <laughs> Luke is always there to lift you up. He's always there, been there for me, to lift me up. And I know you guys, moving into the future, until death will part, will lift each other. And so I'm just, here's a toast to them lift each other up and congratulations to you guys. I'm really happy for you.